And done. Okay, so I want you to actually do this. Take your toothpick and put it at positive five. Okay. So you're using the Okay, so you start at positive five and then move your stick in the direction it should go for five balloons. So move it, if you put on five balloons, what direction should it go? Kiria, what direction is it going? How many times? Five. Okay, so you go one, two, three, four, five. And where does it land, Mariah? Ten. Ten. There you go. Okay. Now, if I start at five, put your uh, toothpick back at five, and this time, instead of putting on five balloons, you're going to pretend like you're taking off five balloons. So see, what direction would it go if you took off? Those five balloons. And when you think you know the direction, tell your teammates which direction is it going to go. Okay, um, we're all going to make sure we're starting in three, two, and one. Go ahead and track Mikkel. He's going to share with us what happens when I start at five and then I take off five balloons. What happens, Mikkel? It goes to zero. So is that up or down? That's down. It goes down to zero. Okay? So then with your teammates, I want you to use your toothpicks and answer these next two questions. So actually move your toothpick up and down as it needs to to answer those next two questions on the board with your teammates. So if I start at five and I put on five weights. So I'm putting on the base to go down, weight to make up. Oh, yeah. Zero. Okay. What if I start at five and I take off weights? Does it go up or down? No. Take off weights. Off weights. All right, this one is a little tough, so I want to make sure we're all really clear because this is where it starts to get very important. Say I start at five and I put on weights. Remind me, if I put a weight on to my meter stick, what direction is it moving? I put on the weight, what direction is it moving? Down. Down. Yeah. So it's going to end at zero. zero. Okay. Now imagine I'm at positive five, but I've got some weights on there somehow. But I take five weights off. What direction does it move when I take off the weight? Christian. It doesn't move at all? If I took off weights, it wouldn't move at all? It's going to go the opposite of it, what it would before. So normally if we put on a weight, Christian, which direction does it go? Down. Okay, so this time it's going to do the opposite. Instead of putting on a weight, I take it off. So instead of going down, it goes, goes up 5. So it's going to land at 10. Thumbs up if that makes sense to you. Okay, review one more time. This is a tricky concept. It's okay. I put a weight on, it goes what direction, everybody? Down. 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 If I take a weight off, it goes what direction? Oh. Up. Up. Okay. We're going to get some practice with this. Again, this is going to go on your white sheet. Um, this time, I want you guys, you're going to read the, the descriptions again. I want you to use your toothpicks to think about this, okay? So I want you to pay close attention also to the fact that sometimes it's telling you to put something on, and sometimes it's telling you to take something off. Again, I want you to use your teammates for this. I'm going to give you guys about four minutes this time. Go ahead, four minutes.